Begin tonight with growing frustration for business owners in the Midway District. A day after the city cleaned out a large homeless camp along Sports Arena Boulevard, everyone returned. Our Kelsey Christensen starts us off live with the latest on this developing story. Kelsey. Hey, yeah, that's right. Crews came out yesterday for a deep clean here along Sports Arena Boulevard, but essentially the camp just moved across the street. If you've driven through the Midway District, you've probably seen the near 200 person homeless camp that spreads along Sports Arena Boulevard between Pacific Highway and Rosecrans. It's already back up and running after city crews came out for a deep clean the day prior. They just had everybody pick up their stuff, move it to the other side of the street, and then they moved, they cleaned out the trash, which is great, but then they moved the encampments back out. And as you can see today, there's already trash out there. There's already feces, urine, and other things out there. Karen Anderson Thatcher owns a nursery near the encampment. She says business owners in the area have been asking the city to do something since the camp started about 10 months ago. We've had customers call and say, that they drove down the street, but now they're not comfortable getting out of their car. Um, we've had homeless lock themselves in our restroom and not come out, so now we have to have locks. A spokesperson for Mayor Todd Gloria told Fox 5 the city has been doing homeless outreach, but only seven people living in the camp of 183 people would accept help going to a shelter. The city says fully clearing the encampment will require continued cleanups like the one on Tuesday, along with continued outreach. We asked people living in the encampment to talk with us about a solution, but no one wanted to go on camera. Though a man driving by told us he used to live in the camp. He says in order to get people off the streets, Section 8 vouchers should include more people on the ticket. That's what I would have done a long time ago. Somebody get a voucher. Hey, I got a voucher. We get to have one person on it. You get all these people off the street. Trust me. Business owners like Karen hope something changes soon. Out here, it's very dangerous and it's very unsafe and the lack of enforcement has empowered them. They know nothing is going to happen to them, so they, they pretty much run the street. So the city tells me they'll be uh, out here again tomorrow for another cleanup, mostly focused on the Rosecrans side of this camp. Of course, we will keep you updated with the very latest right here on Fox 5. Live from the Midway District, Kelsey Christensen, Fox 5 News. All right, clearly a complex issue. Thank you, Kelsey.